out. Look at me. Who's a sweet girl? You're a sweet girl. So, I've been rebuilding the fence. If you're one of my five faithfuls, you know that this privacy fence that used to be all along here was taken down by uh, Hurricane Sally. And I am just now finishing up the replacement. Believe it or not, it's a lot of work to take apart a downed privacy fence. That was a lot of work. And what I've decided to put in its place is this. Now, I'm no expert fencer, and it's a rough, a rough cob that you see here. But let me take you through my, my reasoning for everything. Now, as we said, the hurricane took down the privacy fence, which had been up for nine years, and it was rotting because, hey, I live in Florida, things rot here. And uh, so when it laid it down, I didn't want to have to do this ever again in my life. So what I've replaced it with is this combination masonry and wire fence. As you can see, I've run out of these things. I've still got a, a few more to put on. But um, what I did is I put concrete blocks down and I put fence posts very close together. I, I know some of you might be thinking, hey, you overdid it with a fence post. Well, I meant to. I want this to be a strong fence. So these are seven foot fence posts. So you can see they go down pretty far. And I've concreted in every post. In addition to that, in places I have, such as there, I have driven metal pipes that I had in my resource pile and concreted those in so that I have a pretty good, a pretty good um, contact with the earth. And then I've gone back in and filled in the other gaps of the masonry with um, crushed concrete. It's still the same stuff that I use out here on my, on my long drive. And then on top of that, I put a four foot uh, red, red brand, red top brand, whatever it is, uh, uh, farm and ranch fence. And pulled it really tight, and I'm pretty happy with it. Now, what's the purpose of this fence? Well, it's to keep the, the dogs in, and then it's to keep, you know, foxes and other dogs and things like that out. And also, I want it to be something that the next hurricane can go right through. I feel like the, the next hurricane is not going to treat this fence like a sail, like it did the last one, and knock it over. Also, it's not going to rot. It may rust to death one day, but it's going to be long after my time. So I'm pretty happy with it. Additionally, I have it in my hopes and dreams that one day my neighbor will sell me this plot over here, this land. And if he does, I'm going to clean this out and I'm going to have, I don't know, pigs, goats, whatever. I'm going to have animals over there. So my thinking here is that I could easily put in gates, walk through gates anywhere I wanted to. And also there's places where I've on purpose left concrete out so that I could take these, uh, blocks out if I wanted to for a walkthrough but that's that's you know that's just wishful thinking right now the main thing is that I got the fence back up and the dogs are are able to reclaim their yard one thing I did experiment with is uh, these things here you can get them at tractor supply I forget the name of them right now but there's a company that came up with this idea and they make these little doohickeys that's that's their scientific name and you can do several things with them. Um, one thing you can do is strengthen the end of a, of a fence line if you're going to pull wire. And um, I think all of this hardware together cost about 20 bucks. And it made uh, strengthening this end really, really easy. I thought it was kind of cool. I tell you, the biggest part of the work was tearing down this fence. And then also I had to build a, a temporary fence. So the dogs couldn't get out because this took me a month of weekends. So this took me four weekends to do this whole project. 
well, and I say do this whole project. I'm not quite done. Um, my wife, she shed over there. She wants the uh, wooden fence back over there. And uh, so I'm going to have wooden fence on both ends. The, the fence was not knocked down on the end. And so I put it back up or, or left it back up, left it up. <laughs> I did something. But um, anyway, I'm fairly happy with it. Thought about running one line of barbed wire up here. The wife didn't like that idea. And really, ah, there's no reason for it. So I just thought it would be cool to, to do that. But um, I've got it if I ever decide I want to. Concertina, that's what I need. I need, I need concertina right up here. That would be cool. That would be sweet. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I just wanted to share that with you.